Second Brain is a concept developed by Tiago Forte to help those who are struggling in the digital world to organize themselves and to remember almost everything. Today, we're going to dive into the best Second Brain note-taking applications for you to get started with. We're going to be looking at some of the more popular ones and some of the fairly newcomers that might potentially be your next note-taking application to implement the Second Brain concept. Welcome everyone, my name is Francesco. I am very excited to dive into the Second Brain applications with you. If you're interested in just finding all of these tools, digging a little bit deeper into them, you can head over to Tool Finder, which will be linked in the description below with a full article which outlines all of these tools in much more detail, perfectly crafted by our Charlotte, uh, who uh, created this piece about these note-taking apps. So check it out in the link in the description. So Tiago Forte is such a lovely chap. I had the opportunity to meet him up in London. Although I've known him for many years, it's been really fun getting to know how he approaches things. And one of the concepts that he created was the Second Brain concept. If you're curious at how Second Brain works in full depth, you can find the article below which dives into it. However, in a very short summary, a Second Brain is literally your second brain. It's not relying on this brain to remember everything, allowing you to have a process, a methodology to write things down using two main core systems called Para and Code. Tiongo has a full course on this, however, we're going to talk about the note-taking apps which map well to this. So one of the first ones is Obsidian, and it's been growing in popularity over the last couple of years, but Obsidian has been a real fan favorite amongst those who like security because it's locally stored on your devices. But it also works great as a second brain because there's features like the graph view, also linking notes together, and which makes it perfect for resurfacing as part of Tiago's concept in code. It is also a really easy to use application once you get started. Although it does take a little bit to learn it initially, the application has added fairly new features like Canvas recently, which allows you to express your notes in more of a whiteboard fashion and the ability to extend your abilities with PDF to make that much more editable. So Obsidian is a really growing popular note-taking application that really maps well to the second brain concept. Next up is one that many people know and love and it's Notion and Notion is known widely for its flexible abilities and that really extends to the second brain concept. You can build whatever structure you like as a second brain and map to how it best suits you and there's even templates from the likes of Easlo that helps you to create that second brain concept with just a click of the button. But this application is really flexible and allows you to really create it from database structures so that you can get started with your second brain and use search and functions on your mobile device to find them easily, helping you to resurface content at the right time. Next up is Milano, and this is actually one that Tiago covered on his channel, diving into how he can potentially use Milanote to organize his second brain. And it's much more of a visual second brain because what it does quite nicely is it allows to view things in a canvas view. And it's much more popular with designers and creatives for basically, imagine Pinterest combined with Google Keep. It's really a combination of both of them that helps you to make a visual way of plotting and planning notes. But Tiango dives into a lot more detail on his channel in his video that really conceptualizes Milanote for using the core principles like para, uh, projects, areas, resources, and archive, and code to basically extend your functionality with Second Brain. Next up is an app called Mem. Now, just a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm actually an investor in Mem, and it itself is a note-taking application. It's been growing in the market, but it doesn't really know what it fully is yet, but it integrates a lot of artificial intelligence, which is why I think Tiago talks about it on social media as a potential second brain, because it can help you resurface notes much more effectively with AI. But the concept is a lot different from second brain in a way, because it doesn't rely on folder system, but it does rely on tags as well, and helps you to organize your notes in that fashion. 
It also helps you to link notes as well. And there are features around templates that can save you a lot amount of time. So next up is LogSeek. LogSeek is a popular tool and it's been growing in popularity since Obsidian merged its head into the scene. And um, naturally LogSeek is very similar to Obsidian, a network thought tool that allows you to connect up notes in and be able to see it in a graph view as well. And it's, it has been growing in popularity but many people have found this tool to be an effective way to use for their second brain. So it's well worth to consider alongside Obsidian as a potential note-taking application for building a second brain. Another similar PKM tool, personal knowledge management tool, is Reflect Notes. And to be honest, Reflect Notes is probably one of the most attractive out of all of the solutions that are on the market in the PKM space. But it's priced a lot higher, I believe at $12 per user per month, and naturally that's quite steep, but a lot of these applications are heading in that direction. Reflect Notes has some really interesting features, like the ability to create tags, but not just for tags, but you can make them objects, which makes them much more searchable when it comes to being able to create tabs inside of your Reflect account and be able to organize them. It also still follows a daily note concept, allowing you to create daily notes alongside linking notes and creating them in a graph view too, following a lot of the core principles that we'll see in LogSeq and Obsidian. So one final one that I'm sure many people will be beating me up in the comments for is Evernote. Yes, Evernote is still a good way to organize your second brain, and it still follows a lot of traditional philosophies around note taking that help you to organize and structure that. So I would still recommend checking it out because it's got a lot of abilities more recently with tasks and calendar for you to be able to coordinate your note taking with the second brain methodology combined with your tasks and calendar as a hub based concept. So folks, I hope you enjoyed today's feature on second brains. As I mentioned, if you're in the hunt for a productivity tool, head over to tool finder and you'll find that linked below. And if you want to find more detail about second brain concepts, whether that's how to build a second brain from scratch and the core philosophies around it, you can find that linked below, as well as the second brain apps note-taking lists that we've provided here. I hope you find one that best suits your needs. And if you're in the hunt to go a little bit deeper, you can jump over into Tool Finder and explore them in much more depth with resources and guides that I think will provide as much value as humanly possible. So well done, Tiago, on creating such a great concept. I'm sure millions of people are really taking advantage of it every single day. So thank you to Tiago. Thank you to you all for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're brand new. Thank you very much, folks. I will see you all very, very soon. I'm very sure I will. Cheerio.